Now to Google, which reported earnings and revenues that both missed Wall Street estimates. The Internet giant's profits per share came in at $6.27 after adjusting for accounting items. Analysts had expected $6.40. Revenue also a little bit light here, $15.4 billion, and that was enough to make investors edgy. Shares falling initially after the report, as you see on that graphic there. Sheila Dharmarajan covers Google from the NASDAQ. Sheila, but beyond the upfront numbers, is there any Anything else beneath the surface that investors need to focus on in this report? Yeah, Tyler, bottom line, the shift from PCs to mobile devices like your tablet or your smartphone just isn't as profitable for Google. So here's the issue. For now, Google can't charge as much for mobile ads as they do for ads on PCs. So even if the mobile volume advertising is growing, they're just not making as much money on it. Now, on top of that, you also have to add in the fact that Google gets charged every time it wants to be a default search engine on a phone. So the expenses are going up. Pricing is coming down. Certainly not two trends you want to see go in those directions. Now, Google's company did acknowledge some of these issues on the conference call, and they said they would be giving more transparency around the numbers. Interestingly, they also said that in the long term, they do think that mobile pricing will be better than PC pricing. But of course, we're going to have to wait and see if that actually happens. All right, Sheila, Sheila Dharmarajan, thanks very much.